Road trip, road trip, road, road trip. Should we talk like this the whole time? Three. We have to go because this will expire. Okay, thanks for interrotting. Welcome to the Cotswolds! Why, why is dead people spooky? <laughs> Zay. Welcome to England. We've hired a car for the next three nights and we're doing a Cotswolds road trip. Something I've been really excited to do. First stop though, Stonehenge. Gonna check that out and then keep on going. We made it, we didn't crash the car. It was so stressful. It was, it was like pretty crazy. Little one way roads. We, um, so we picked up our, our hire car from Bristol and then we just did a drive out to Stonehenge. We're, we're out in the Cotswolds for the next couple of nights. Really looking forward to that. And we wanted to come and check out Stonehenge. I mean, I've heard it's underwhelming, but when you're in England, you've got to do these things. We're going to check it out. You can come out here and pay, I think it was 22 pounds to get tickets and do like a tour and everything. Cause we're on a bit of a budget. We're just going to do the free tour ourselves. You can't get as close as what the tour is, but it's still good. The old little man said. Probably can't hear too well cause it's quite Quite windy but anyway we're gonna go and check out Stonehenge get some shots of it the guide funnily enough he just told us that this is good weather so like as you can see it's freezing and it's like cloudy and he's like yeah it's a good day today gonna head to Chippenham. We're just outside of Chippenham is where we're staying tonight. We're in like this little Menor castle thing, so I'll show you some stuff of that as well. Road trip, road trip, road, road trip, road, 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 road trip, road trip. This is our com. So we made it to our hotel, Airbnb hotel. Hotel. About an hour from Stonehenge. Um, we're just outside of this town called Chippenham. It's called the Stanton Manor Hotel. Guys, Sunny's out getting some last minute um, footage of our con before we take off on our day. I thought I'd give you guys just a bit of information about where we're staying because it's been quite handy. So we're staying in a little like old manor just outside of Chippenham. It's called the Stanton Manor Hotel. Definitely recommend staying there if you're out and around sort of like Southwest England sort of area. With our hire car, this is also something that was pretty cool. So we went through this like app called Turo. It's like marketplace for hire cars really. So people just put up their cars with their prices. It's been really easy to deal with. So we got the bus down from London to Bristol, picked up the car. It literally took like a five minute transaction really. If you're from Australia, you just need an Australian driver's license. I've got an international one as well, but that's because we're gonna be driving in other countries in Europe. I don't think you need one here. We loved our time here at the Stanton Manor Hotel. There is a freaky church next to it. So if you get a bit scared like me, it might be a bit worrisome for you. Off to Castlecombe.
Thistlecombe ticked off our first little village in the Cotswolds. It was pretty stunning, actually. So cute. Very cute. We just went and got a few um, pics and some film. It said on the sign when we walked in that it's often referred to as the prettiest village in England. So it's Queen of Central Village. All the houses are made up of Cotswold stone. Looks pretty. Hope you cute, enjoy the film. Cute, cute. So we're going to go and try and find some brekkie and then move on to the next village. <laughs> We're now in Bibri, another beautiful little Cotswolds village. Everything here is literally stunning. We stopped in for a coffee and a bit of a feed too, and the lady behind the counter at the cafe said that this is a great time of the year to come and visit because in the summer, even though it's more like leafy and beautiful, the crowds make it almost impossible to get some good footage. So it's starting to rain a little bit, it's freezing cold, so we're gonna try and snap a few pics and head on to the next place. We just pulled up to stop number three on our Cotswolds road trip. It's Stowe on the Wold, probably the number one village I was looking forward to coming to. It's also has this place called the Porch House, which is England's oldest inn. So it's been feeding and providing pints for travelers for over a thousand years. So we're gonna go in there, get a feed, get a pint, take a walk around the town and get some pics. this whole thing. Loving it. I feel like I'm in Peter Rabbit. I feel like I'm in every old English movie I've ever seen. It is so cute and everything's been really close together so we've done like nearly everything in a whole day. Yep. It's been good. And now we're off to our last Cotswold town which is Chipping Camden I think. talking to the camera stuff. We need some real content. Mm -hmm. Real, real life stuff. None of this fake stuff. Hey! This is like in Big Brother, when they just sit and chat. I think the Cotswolds has been the highlight of the trip for me. It has been really good. I've loved having a car that has definitely, I think, made it. Cause we've just, in one day, we've been to how many towns? Stanton, at the Stanton Manor. Then we went to Chippenham. Then we went to Castle Combe. Then Ooh. we went to Bibri. Yep. Then we went to Stow in the Wold. Then we went to Chipping Camden. Then we drove back to Siren Sesta. So we went to seven. I think that we did the perfect itinerary today. Castle Cove was beautiful, so small, but we went so early there was no one there. The sun was shining on it sometimes in the middle mm. of it, the rain. Yeah. It was really cute. Then we went to Bibri, and Bibri was super cute and Perfect place to have breakfast because there was just this little cafe open that was right smack bang in the middle. Yeah, Bibri was so nice. It had like all these big manors and then it had like a bridge over a little creek that ran through the town. The bridge is obviously made out of like the Cotswold stone like all the houses are. And everything has been like 15, 20 minute drive. So it hasn't been like we haven't even used a full mm. tank of fuel yet. So no, it's not that expensive. So then after breakfast, we then drove to well, stow on the world yeah um, and world. that was the perfect place to have lunch because it was super cute bit more happening there so like cafes shops bookshop we had lunch at the oldest inn in england fact check that they carbon dated some of the beams in the pub in the old area of the inn they were dated back to about 947 ad so over a thousand years ago yeah porch house has been um providing like beds, food and drinks for travellers for the last over a thousand years. Hey, we went to Chipping Camden, it was pretty cool, but it's once, what I like without, don't want to sound disrespectful of anything, but I think with the Cotswolds, you should probably do it 
in kind of a day or two days because what we we're finding towards the end we we're also getting tired and it was raining but once you start seeing like if you've seen one or two three villages in the Cotswolds the fourth one's gonna give you much the same like it all looks you know they have their own little things in there but it does look mm. much that the last same. one actually to be fair to that back that last one was really good because it had that old marketplace tomorrow we've got to get the car back to old mate that we got it off in Bristol so we'll be driving back to Bristol We've got to just drop it off by four, so no real rush. And then we're getting... Um, we need to figure out how to get to Bath. Yeah, we've got to get to Bath, and then we're staying two nights in Bath. Morning! First day that I'm not wearing my down jacket. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting used to it. Wearing my shirt with yes. a jumper underneath. Yeah, so that's what... We're off to pick up some brekkie. All right, guys, this is the little Tesco haul. So we've been pretty strict on our budget the last couple of mornings, so we just picked we up brekkie. We had a fart. How much was dinner last night? 10, 10 pounds? Yeah, about ten pounds. The good thing about here is that the wine is really good. So we got like a mini red wine for a dollar fifty. Oh, sorry, not a dollar fifty. One fifty pound. Yeah. Um, and it tasted really good. Yeah. And that at home would taste like crap. Had brekkie out yesterday, avocado on toast, and it was thirty pounds, like sixty bucks, because our dollar is half a pound. Yeah. So you really feel it. In our hostel kitchen, we're just going to whip up some brekkie and a coffee. Do you want a bowl? I'm literally just having a bowl of fruit. Very exciting. Fruit and what? Mm 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 mm. Yeah. Welcome to Baha. I already love it here, it's so cute. And I don't know if it's because the sun's shining, maybe that's why I like it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, dance. It's so and a coffee and then the plan today is to go to the Roman baths. Second floor. Alright guys this is our hotel room. It's a bit it's a bit oh no it's actually pretty clean. We, it was a bit of a bomb fight but we cleaned it up. It's cute. So this was a hundred Australian dollars a night and we got the smallest rooms. I think our room's actually meant to be just this size, so really tiny. Yeah. You see? But we got upgraded and we have a bigger room. Yeah. And even the brekkie, like, we haven't got the brekkie because we're trying to save money, but it actually probably is quite cost effective. It's £9.50 for like a buffet and it's fancy. Yeah. And they like come in and clean your room and stuff. Zed Hotels in Bath, it's kind of on the main little drag there. So I got. It was a the big, cheapest accommodation I could find. Yeah, and we got a big telly right in front of the bed. So we just kicked back yesterday, watched some TV, watched some YouTube, and basically just chilled. Um, but yeah, it's pretty basic. But you got your bed, got a little area here with like tea and coffee stations, and like we're charging our phones and laptops and everything there. The bathroom's like reasonably sized as well, I reckon. Um, shower and that there. And for $100 a night, very, very cost effective, I think. Spent a couple of nights in hostels with other people and whenever we get a hotel room by ourselves, we just love it. And what we're gonna do today is head down to the Roman Baths, which we're both really excited to do. It's probably the big thing that drew us to Bath for the couple of nights. So we're gonna pop down and check those out. I'm keen to get a bit more information so we can give it to you guys. I don't wanna to say too much at the moment because I'm not too sure exactly of the facts. And we're planning to do a free walking tour this afternoon to get all the sites in a Bath. And then what we're finding out about England is it's so expensive so we've got to try and stick to our budget so we're trying to do things quite cheap um, we've got a week in London with a heap of our mates which we imagine we'll be doing a lot of social activities in so it'll probably get a little bit dear so we're trying to save money now so that we have a little bit more to spend then but I think we've sort of accepted the fact that we're probably going to go over the budget a fair bit in England. Sunny's croissant tour of Europe continues. <laughs> My favourite is still that little bakery near our first accommodation in Paris. 
We're down in like the little center square of Bath here. It's, it's good here. You've got the baths right there. You've got the Bath Abbey right there. And then you've got a heap of shops and everything down that way if you want to get brekkie or a coffee or something like that. I'm waiting to get some tickets. So we're just buying these in the morning. Just line mm -hmm. up and grab them. This is amazing. Mm. So when we have Googled this and I've looked it up, I honestly thought it was just this bath, which in itself is still amazing. Yeah. So this was massive it wasn't just this it had like lots and lots of different buildings and rooms and there was like a temple and then you go you walk through the whole thing and they have the remains there from each area and then um information about it so it's been really great i really have liked this yeah it's just amazing the technology like this is so long ago like what was it it was like 72 ad no that was the wrong number um, what was the number it was like, early, like early hundreds century AD, yeah i'm pretty sure yeah and they've got pipes like water pipes so much more here than just the bars and like the bars themselves are just pretty incredible like the engineering and the technology that they must have had back in the day to construct things like this is it's very hard to get your mind around it it's cool to just sit here and like look out at it and just like imagine that people in the Roman days were just like, this was an area that they'd come pretty often. Like from there, there's a little model in there that shows you what the town and that looked like. And it's like a, it looks like a modern day like spa, like there's massage tables, people come here do exercise, people come here just hang out in the bars and everything, it's cool. We found out that the, so this was founded obviously by the Romans during the Roman Empire when Britain was a part of the Roman Empire. They found these natural hot springs here, which is apparently the only natural hot springs in Britain and they thought that was like a blessing from one of their gods or goddess, I think it, it was Minerva someone. So they constructed this massive temple and built this settlement which was called Aqua Sulis. The temple was a place for relaxation but it was also an important religious place as well. I just listened to a thing on the audio guide and, and she said it would have been a place that was quite loud and jovial and friendly. People would shout out to their mates across there. There's a little there's little rooms. Yeah, there's little rooms off the main bath side as well that you they would go in that have little private pools where they'd sit in there, they'd get fed like snacks and drinks and everything like it's pretty amazing. If you come to Bath, I think this is why Bath is a touristy spot because they've got this. This is the largest in the world most well preserved in the Roman Empire, which is cool. So I if you're in Bath, you've got to come. Coming in here was reasonably cheap for what you get. It's like 18 pound each. 18 pound each. It's a museum. Yeah, so it's a full museum experience. I, so I think it's worth it. It's kind of cool that we get to do this first before we go to Italy. Because mm. I know when you go to Pompeii, I don't think they actually have water in them. So it's nice to see this. And then when you go to Pompeii and other places, you can imagine that it would have looked like this. Oh, triceps. Oof. They used to have gyms back in the day here, did they? Zay. <laughs> this in here is the King's Bath. See the steam coming off it? This is where me and all the boys would have been kicking back in there. All the kings, all my kings. Special shout out to all my boys. I don't know how we'd get KO working, but we'd probably get KO working up there as well for the football. <laughs> I still maintain that free walking tours are a must in every city that you go to. The one we just did in Bath was so, so good. So, so bloody good. How cool is my Mickey Mouse shirt? I haven't got to wear it yet. Mickey Mouse! And Minnie Mouse, actually. I think it's the life and times of Mickey Mouse or something like that. Bath has been great. We're heading back to London tomorrow to hang out with our mates for a week. Really looking forward to that. We've done the Cotswolds. All in all, it was a great trip out to the Cotswolds, loved it. I think it's so far the highlight of the trip for me. It lived up to the hype and then Bath is one I think you have to go to. So much cool history here. It's the first century AD, the Romans discovered the town, discovered the hot springs here in Bath. Like we've said, the only hot springs in England. The town's just so pretty how it's all like the Georgian 
style buildings and all the sandstone buildings and the well not the sandstone it was bath stone 20 percent of the population is student as well so it's pretty vibey and there's a young crowd in that here there's a lot of cool shops there's a lot of cool bars apparently the, some of the best fish and chips in england are here in bath as well so if you're in england i think you must come and check it out that's all we've got for this vlog guys our next one we're going to be in london with a heap of our mates so that's probably going to be a bit of a fun one these vlogs are they've been a really cool way for us to document our trip it's, it's also super cool being able to keep our family updated and our friends updated with what we're doing overseas please like them please subscribe to our channel share them with your mates if it's helpful jump on our instagram and our tiktoks as well we're pushing out some travel content there some tips but also some vibey and pretty videos so thank you guys so much for the support it's been a great time out here in the cotswolds and bath and we're off to london really excited for it thank you so much